like a muscle cramp in your pack and like there's one in my back now too. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just like her. Ugh, burp. Right. He's a real super dope. Gangsta. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Why do people watch me? I don't know because I'm a loser. Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with a top five Wednesday. I know I haven't done this in a million years. But the topics came out, so I figured I would pre-film a whole bunch of them so that I would be able to actually do them for the month of February. So yay, pre-filming! Top 5 Wednesday was created by Ginger Reads Lainey. I will leave her link down below and also the Goodreads group if you want to check that out and be a part of it because it's super fun. The topic for this Wednesday is Biggest Badasses. They aren't in any particular order, they're just kind of what I felt like saying they're in a pile and therefore we're gonna tell you them. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> My first biggest badass is Rose Hathaway from The Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I've only read the first three books. I'm on Blood Promise, I believe. But Shadow Kiss left me in the biggest book hangover of my entire life, and I have not touched them since. But Rose Hathaway is such a badass. It's so sick to read about her. She kicks all the vampires' butts, and it's just so much fun. I love these books. Except Shadow Kiss, because cliffhangers. No. My second badass is going to be Zoe Redbird from the House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cast. I read these books when I was like 12 years old. I absolutely love them. Zoe stood up for herself in everything that went down with Nef Neferet. I don't, can't say her name. I can't do it, but Neferet was what we're gonna call her. I hated her, by the way. She was a jerk. But Zoe was so fun to read about. She always kicked everybody's butt, and she never took shit from anybody. So I like her, and therefore she's on my biggest badass list. My third badass is going to be Alice Cullen from Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. The fact that she can see these visions is like the coolest thing in the entire world. Like, I think that would be so cool. I'm just saying, like, you can see the future. Like, yes please. I think it's really awesome that she protects her family so wholeheartedly and she just cares about everybody. And I just think she's like super badass and I want to be her. <laughs> That's it. My next badass is going to be Nathan from Half Bad by Sally Green. He is so boss. He has everybody against him and still he's just like fighting for his life and he's just so awesome and he doesn't really care what other people think even though it's like they're all hating on him because of who his father is. Like, it's not his fault that his dad is a bad witch, man. Like, he didn't ask for this life. But he freaking sticks up for himself, and I just really like him. And finally, my fifth badass is going to be Alice from Alice in Zombieland. She's so boss. Like, you do not understand. If you have not read this book, it's by Jenna Shoalwater. She loses her father in a car accident, and she ends up seeing these zombies that her father has always seen and she didn't really believe him until she sees them for herself and she decides that she's going to be this kick-ass zombie slayer and it's just so awesome. She just kills all these zombies and she's just like so cool and sassy and like she's been through so much and she's still just so strong and I just love her so much. Alright guys, so that was my top five Wednesday for my biggest badasses. This video is going to be super short but YOLO. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!